how to use canva with printify hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use printify with canva so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create an account on both of these websites you're going to need to create an account on canva and printify and it's very easy to do so you just simply click on the start free button and you should be good to go now i've already created my account so i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in so to log in all you got to do is click on this button right here and we should be good to go and once you log into to printify you should be good to go this is going to be your dashboard and over here you can go ahead and get started with over here you can create your own design now when it comes to design printify does have pretty cool options but you can create your own t-shirts design using canva and then you can upload them onto printify and then you can connect a third-party application like etsy or any other website like shopify and sell them online so let's go ahead and create some cool looking t-shirts design so i already had some designs right here i created earlier but let's go ahead and create a new design so we have a blank canvas right here we're going to go ahead and upload a design now the designs that i recommend you upload are something are designs like these like simple ones right that have simple colors not a whole lot quick not like this one but mostly these ones right they're simple you can easily remove the background images and you can easily have a pretty cool print on a shirt like this one like coffee one right so we can easily go ahead and remove the background like this one as well pretty cool we can just simply go ahead and use this as our whole t-shirts design really cool maybe if we wanted to we can go ahead and add some more text over here like it's ramen time or something like that but yeah generally speaking designs like these are actually very simple so now let's go ahead and create some more design so this is one design done let's go ahead and create some more design so we can use the template over here right like these one this is pretty cool we can use pre-made templates like these ones or we can create one on our own so next we've already used some of these templates now let's go ahead and create one on our own so to create a cool looking design we're going to shift over to the element side so over here we can see we have a bunch of different options we're going to switch to element and here we can go ahead and search and find any element we want so here we have some options right here we can search for different options over here and let's get started so i'm thinking maybe add a simple design nothing too crazy like these ones right Previously, we only had one element and then we had some text. So we'll get one design and then text. That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and I'm thinking maybe we go ahead and search for a balloon. Let's go ahead and search for some balloons over here. What I want is a simple black and white balloon like this one, actually. This one actually would look pretty cool. And I think we turn it black like this one and we move it a little bit up over here and then over here at the bottom we type dream up something like this and then we go ahead and change up the fonts to something else like something like this pretty simple design nothing too crazy maybe let's go ahead and increase the size as well and yeah something like that looks good maybe make it a little bit smaller and put it right here actually we put it over here and then i want to turn this out I want to change it i want to add like an effect over here like a round effect like a curve effect there we go but i want to curve it like over here something like that and maybe twist it there we go so now we have another design so pretty simple now we can go ahead and download these designs and upload them onto our shirts so these designs would generally look good on a white shirt if you're gonna use it on a black shirt then you're gonna have to turn all of this inverted so for example let's go ahead and turn this into black like so and then we'll group these together and then we'll copy it and paste it right here and then we just change the color to white same thing with the text as well we'll change it to white there we go now i don't know if this would look good on a black t-shirt but generally speaking i think it would look good so now all that's left for us to do is to download the images now since this is the free version we won't be able to you know change the background but that's fine uh, we can just download them as pngs and then remove the background using a third party website and once you've downloaded them i actually had to change the background for this one because i realized that if i had you know black usually that doesn't work so now i have changed the color of the background hopefully now since it's a different color and brighter hopefully now it would be much 
better to remove the background and it'll be much easier so there are a couple of ways to remove the background uh you could go with remove.bg it's a pretty cool website so let's see right here let's go ahead and select the sushi it's going to remove the background for the sushi i hope it doesn't remove the background over here from this area yep it did okay all right so let me just go ahead and zoom in and fix the problem so we want to erase slash restore and zoom in and i want to restore i'll decrease the size of the button that way now i'll just hover my mouse right here and just restore these white bits that were accidentally removed from the image and we should be okay there we go i think we have now fixed the issue yep so now we can go ahead and download this image and of course we can't download the big one as well but i just want to save it over here and replace the original one so again we can use this as one or we can use this image right here it's called tiny bow but as you can see it doesn't really quite do well because of the white background of the balloon so yeah even though that was a great design i think we'll have to you know scrap the idea because you know since it's so thin maybe this will work all right it actually works on remove.bg so we're gonna use this one so let's go ahead and uh, remove another one let's go ahead and check out ramen over here yummy ramen yummy noodle there we go download it and replace and final test whether or not it'll remove the white it left out a few edges not gonna lie but i think that's okay i think that's fine maybe if we selected the black one i think this would actually be much better over here and on remove.bg give it a couple of seconds and here we go so what is the results yep that's actually much better so we're gonna download this one and yep here we go replace that boom now we have our design now we can go ahead and implement them over here onto our shirts so to create your own designs go into catalog or actually go into my products here you will find your own designs as you can see right here i had a couple of designs over here now here what you can do is you can go ahead and connect your store firsthand so click on store settings over here you will see you have your store name you have ship from address order settings printify connect available for printify premium users and here you have your other shipping options as well so let me just go ahead and delete this one right here delete this product and here we can go ahead and create our own new product so let's go ahead and create some t-shirts select this design or you know select these designs as well and then click on start designing and now we should be okay and now we just upload our design so here we have some other designs that i had previously you know created and uploaded so all that's left for us to do is upload our design select the variants that we want so if we want this one over here on our shirts let me just increase the size it might look weird right now but in real life it'll actually look much better then we click on save product give it a couple of seconds select the front back view select the mock-ups right whatever mock-ups we want if you want you can go ahead and place your owns over here you have your product description your sizes shipping over here you can update your shipping permissions later on for everyone it will be different because you know everyone has different addresses so that you can explore on your own you have your sizes if you want to keep some of the sizes or delete some of the sizes you can go ahead and do that but let's say we only want these sizes right here uh, we don't want these and over here you can go ahead and click on the settings and you can have more options available and if you want you can edit the pricing of just these selected ones and then over here you have your mock-ups hide in store if you don't want to you know if you don't want to view them right now and you should be good to go over here you have different sizes you can add size table as well so over here as you can see change the metric over here i think metric looks pretty good so we'll keep it that and then just simply click on publish and your product will be published onto the store that you've connected now to connect the store as you can see right here i have connected it over here onto my shopify store but it's down right now that's why i can't publish it but to connect the store you just simply click on add a new store or manage a store here you will find etsy shopify tiktok amazon printful all of these shops that you could possibly have all you got to do is select one and you should be good to go and then down below they've also you know stored it in they've ordered them into different difficulties so etsy it's pretty easy you just simply connect it 
one, two, three, good to go. Shopify, it's a little bit medium and TikTok US, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. But other than that, you are good to go. Then you just simply connect your shop over here and boom you can now start your print on demand business. So pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is how you can use Canva with Printify to start your print on demand business. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.